Hello guys, hope you are doing well and as always if you are new to my channel I would humbly request you to subscribe to my channel so that you shall be able to watch all the latest trading videos that I will upload on my channel. Thanks. Okay, today we have uh, a problem. Uh, again, it's a frame structural analysis problem in which we have got uh, a portal frame at our hand and uh, on this frame it is made up of steel and uh, a load, a pressure load applied on it is basically 66.667 pounds per inch. And we are basically dealing up with uh, the section of this uh, frame is basically an I section beam. And uh, all the related details, dimensional details of this I section is being placed over here. Its designation is the W12 into 26 uh, I section beam. Okay, W stands for white. The area is basically 7.65 inch square. The depth is 12.22 inch. The web thickness is 0 0.230. And the width of this, the flange uh, width of this I section beam is 6.490. And that the web and flange total uh, depth is basically 12.22 inch. Okay, this is D. And uh, the thickness of the flange is 0 0.380 inches. And uh, the second moment of area about I xx axis is 204 inch 4. Okay? And this frame is basically being constrained uh, at these two points A and at this point uh, which is the D point it is being constrained. It's, it's basically being a fixed support. The length is 120 inches and the depth of this frame is 108 inches. And we are required to calculate the, the shear force diagrams, the bending moment diagrams, the deflections, the rotations, the axial stresses and the bending stresses of this uh, frame. All this we basically work, uh, we are interested in calculation. Okay, So let's start and solve this problem on ANSYS. Okay? So as always, uh, this is going to be a structural problem, a strict structural problem. So we'll say OK. And uh, we can also write over here if we want uh, that uh, it's basically a Total frame stress analysis problem. You can say it over here. Uh, the element uh, or the room select over here is beam element. So this is going to be selected and then. The material properties as given to us is uh, this is the material poisons ratio, Poisson's ratio is 0.27. The modulus velocity is 30 E is 6 since it is a steel. Okay, now the section details, it's a beam section, so we'll take it as common. All the section are being defined over here, but we have got an I section, so we will say here this. Okay, so W1, this is the W1, which is the width of the flange, and uh, it is as basically being given to us, it is 6.490, as explained before. W2 is, as there are two flanges, so it is also 6.490. 90 and uh, total depth of this I section B is 12.22. The thicknesses of the flanges, thicknesses of the flanges is 0 0.38. Again, it is 0 0.38, and the uh, thickness of the web has been defined as T3 is here. It is basically 0.23 okay so the dimensional details of the section is being defined fully over here the id of this material is one okay you can write it as one i section this is i section and uh, if you want you can make a preview this is the preview okay and you can apply this over here it is being applied and you can say okay so you replot it now we are going to basically define the section we will try to model this i section uh, this portal frame okay. so we can use three key points over here 
and as the uh, details are being given, already being explained to you, uh, these are the dimensions. Uh, we're going to model it with the four key points: one, two, three, four. Okay, four key points. And uh, let us say the first key point uh, in the active coordinate system is being uh, this is one. It's going to be zero, and it's again going to be zero. Okay, and we'll say it as uh, apply. The number two will be of x zero, and its height will be one zero eight. And uh, we will apply it. The number three will be minus one two. Will be minus one two zero. Uh, on the x-axis and on the y-axis again it is 108 so here it is and the fourth one will be on the x-axis is basically is going to be on the x-axis it is minus 120 and on the y-axis it is 0 so it will be just below 3 and uh, here it is so these are the Four basically key points defined by us one, two, three, four. So now we basically are interested in basically uh, creating lines along these key points, straight lines. So this is the skeleton being developed. Okay, over here, and uh, now. We can basically, this has been done. Now we have to basically perform the, the meshing. We'll say the edge length is 4. You can take it 2 or 5 up to you. And uh, now oh, again, okay. once this is done, we will back. So now if you see, you can have uh, the elements being generated after the meshing. The next step is basically to define the loads. Displacement on the key points. We'll apply all degree of freedom. You can say it as over here, and uh, you can see it's being fully constrained. The other thing that we will be uh, doing here is basically uh, we will be applying the pressure, and uh, we need to apply the pressure on the beams okay. so if you look at it we can apply it uh, we can just make it uh, force auspicious to us we'll apply the pressure as beams okay and we'll save the box the pressure is being applied and we'll say it as um, it is 66.67. This is the pressure that we applied, and it is over here. Now the pressure is being applied. Well, it's being fully constrained, and uh, we can make it fit here. Okay. So this has been done. Okay. Now we can undergo for the solution phase. has been done we can say now this has been done we'll look for the uh, how it this frame has been deformed under this uh, pressure loading we can say all right so this is the deformation of the frame total frame you can see the maximum deflections is somewhere here because the pressure load was being applied and it has uh, deflected by amount of 0.16 of an inch. So you must be able to clearly understand this. Okay. We can also uh, 
basically if you want we can go for the uh, nodal solutions how the nodes have performed overall and uh, we can basically this is the deflection about the x axis of this portal frame we can also basically see the, how it is to be placed about the y axis this is displacement of the y axis and the resultant displacement about all the x and y this is very important this is what it is the risk how it is deflected about the y axis and if you are interested in basically the how it has basically uh, displaced the rotations so these are the rotations about the z axis the main of it is the rotation vector sum okay so this is how it has been undergone rotation about the x axis okay apart from this uh, you can also basically calculate uh, the we get the reactions how are the reactions being performed you look uh, you can say okay so this is basically uh, the values and again along the y axis uh, of this frame okay this is the resultant forces about the y axis which resultant is total 8000 okay resultant uh, reactions about the x axis for the respective nodes and uh, the most important thing uh, is basically uh, the moments about the z axis okay this is the moments about the z axis this is resultant force about the y axis and this is very small resultant force about the x axis if you want you can calculate it like this also and uh, you can further if you want uh, how it has basically been uh, you can plot the uh, uh, results and if you want uh, how for the vector plots if you want and this is about the vector plots okay so this has been uh, done if you further want uh, you can list the results nodal solutions this is uh, this is the displacements for every node about that for node like this is node 2 its displacement along x is this y this z this sum is is the net sum of all the three is this so you can basically save it if you want you want any specific node information okay then basically do it like this okay apart from that uh, you can also uh, calculate the uh, shear force of this let's say define the table of it over here and let's say that uh, sf1 okay say 6 and you can say sf2 Let's say further, then Okay, so you can close it. You can see plot the results. So this is uh, very beautifully explained for the shear force diagram. How we draw it, and if you're interested in basically calculating the, the bending moment diagram of this frame, how for this uh, for this reactive material. Okay, so this is the bending moment diagram for this. Okay, so if you want, uh, you can also. Simulate it if you want. Uh, you can animate it. The deformed uh, shape. This you can see the deformations for the animations. Okay. You can close this. You can further see if you want to see the. Found results over time, like how it is. You can see how it is deformed over time.
if you want you can also uh, see how it, it's been shown in the three dimensions just display of elements go on it and uh, this is basically in the 3d this is the 3d scenario of this uh, frame so this is how you perform a total frame analysis and in this you have calculated all the uh, respective uh, basically stresses uh, the displacements, deflections, rotations uh, of this uh, portal frame. Uh, I hope uh, this uh, analysis will be beneficial for you. And uh, in the end, I will ask you take care of, your, care of yourself because you are worth it. Thank you very much and you have a wonderful day. Thanks.